Hello guys, good evening. I am on Rudu version 19 and then I am checking the new website feature that is import website and I am planning to imitate our TechVaria website now. So let's see how Odoo 19 will respond to my copy or import website request. So let's say I have just pressed that button and let's see what Odoo has for me to copy entire website. I don't have any product and then I'm just pressing this button and let's wait how Odoo will populate the copy of our Techveria website into Odoo 19 demo version. So let's see it is still working and now it is loading. So Odoo is generating our website. It is putting the message, importing your website and this can take a few minutes you will be redirected once your website is ready so let's wait for a while and see how odoo is replicating our website into odoo 19 import website feature so it's still working so if this is successful i will be more than happy and invite a lot of our customers to copy their existing website with even e-commerce and product website to Odoo. I am already planning to copy one right now, but let's wait for our small website which has very limited pages on it. And then let's see how Odoo will reflect by you know copying our existing website to the new Odoo website import feature. I think it's still loading. So let's see when does it respond. Meanwhile, we will just browse our TechVaria website. We are, you know, ERP solution provider, and Odoo is one of the offering from our end where we are offering Odoo implementation, re implementation, customization, migration, integration, training, and also, you know, support pack or success pack and then we also offer higher dedicated functional certified consultant and certified Odoo developers. So it's still going on. Meanwhile, let's see. We offer a very good Odoo re implementation services where any Odoo existing client can connect us and then we can definitely review their present setup and then give them what can be best implemented with Odoo by default workflow and business process engine. So that's our, you know, specialty where we consult our client and then offer how Odoo enterprise configuration can help to achieve most out of Odoo ERP rather than, you know, making any customization. So I think the things are still going on. Let's see when it is done. So I'm also reviewing the Odoo release note and then preparing all these tutorials. And we have a lot of clients. They are also, you know, B2B and Odoo partners and, uh, you know, we are offering a good amount of services to all of our clients. So this is how we offer Odoo services. We maximum offer Odoo Vanilla implementation for all of our client in initial basis to keep their investment lower in Odoo and then getting maximum advantage of Odoo upgrades by implementing default Odoo as much as we can. We don't uh, emphasize to customize in first level because whenever client is new to Odoo ERP, Definitely a huge investment will kill, uh, you know, their, you know, IT investment and a huge burden to them. So that's why we offer a base and vanilla implementation to client. So things are still going on. Let's see when it is completing. So 
so these all are our vanilla implementation is our primary service we also offer a studio based customization so that uh, people can get advantage of odoo sas and then minimalistic customization can be loaded with studio with tricky uh, python your script then we also offer data migration from old system data like customer master vendor master chart of account opening balance product master and entire warehousing management we can migrate to do via import of excel and set up correctly with that so i think it's still loading and let's see when i can see my website on odoo 19 we can see a small loading indicator over here at the bottom oh now it is i think time we can see how odoo has created our own website in odoo so you can see let's go to our home page and see how odoo has created this banner then clients then title who we are section into odoo like this we can see so it's not bad it still looks really good and even it has created all the pages like this very good very cool if i go over here and just tap over here this is my present website e-commerce page and this is how odoo has created the e-commerce page over here so it's really good to see how odoo has migrated almost you know many pages still there are many pages which are not available over here but i can see main main you know pages have been transferred from odoo from our main website so really good to see the feature is definitely working nice and you guys can plan out to migrate this is our another client moe coffee let me try uh, to you know imitate and import the entire website i am sure it's a very big website it will take time so if i go to website and configuration then i will launch a new website moe coffee and then going back and then settings i am switching to moe coffee and then i am just importing the moe coffee website i will definitely end my video by you know uh, keeping it import and see how Odoo is doing the wonder by importing entire website with product because over here i can see the products are here I'm switching to English language. Let me punch that website and then I'm putting this to import. So I know it's not a small website and the current stack of website is WordPress for Moya Coffee and Odoo has started importing the Moya Coffee website for us we have already built a new moe coffee website on version 18 but this is version 19 so let's see how odoo will import the entire website with its functionality so i will definitely put this experience in my comment and description in my website how it works and thank you very much for watching this video let's explore more in upcoming videos about odoo 19 and new great features thank you guys good day good night